Welcome to the Two Ton Nerds. As always, my name is Max James. It's October 15th, 2018, which means it's day 15, and we're halfway through the 31 Days of Fright Horror Movie Project here seven and also in this video i'll be covering days 13 and 14 so i'm going to keep this video nice short and sweet and tell you as much as possible about them all these movies for the last three days and i'm going to be jumping in with for day 13 which is mother uh, directed by darren aronofsky starring jennifer lawrence and javier bardim they he she plays mother nature and the world for her is her house she painstakingly refurbished it, re, um, painted it, everything fr from the ground up. So this is her world, her baby. And and then she's starting to break her rules. She's starting to let people in. She's uneasy and, and at first, and then just all hell breaks loose towards the end of the movie. Some very disturbing images, imagery, and moments. And that's why I, it's this movie's good to watch during this time of year. But it's about mid-month movie. It's not best watch at the end of the month or at the beginning. It's about movie to watch about mid-month. So um, that's really all I gotta say. It's about worth one viewing, maybe two, to kind of see what else has been going on. Maybe you'll kind of see something different in this particular in second viewing. But it's definitely not for everybody. But it's definitely worth a viewing, especially for that last 10, 15 minutes. It's pure hell. It's pure disturbing it's a lot of chaos so there's a lot going on and for day 14 it's get out it's one of my favorite movies of last year it was a lot of fun to see this in the big screen i think this movie's best watched on the big screen but also it's about a good mid-month movie as well because it's not true horror but it does have a good amount of horror in it because of it doesn't have the traditional monsters because it's about interracial couple one meeting Allison Williams' parents for the first time. She's white and her boyfriend is black. And things aren't what it seems. Like when he comes to visit, they're they're <laughs> they're trying to appeal to him in some ways, but it seems more like pandering, but as the movie kinda goes on, it's it's disturbing and the plot thickens and it I can't reveal anything about this movie too much because I don't want to ruin it and if I start to dive too much into it I'll ruin it so and for day 15 is Alien Covenant and oh man I like this movie I really do enjoy the Alien Covenant movie but I also think Prometheus is much better only because I think it looks better, and I think the story is much better in, the, in Prometheus, but I still like uh, Alien Covenant. It's basically where Prometheus left off, this movie takes up. They just go to the planet where Shaw and um, Michael Fassbender's character, um, David, I think, is that character's name. They go off in search of where the engineers show um, came from. So, And that's... We meet a few new alien creatures. Um, we meet the uh, for some for the first time. We get uh, well in st chronologically order wise. Um, we get um, a new xenomorph, which is like the neomorph, which is all white. We meet the face bursters and the um, the egg the, the egg for the first time, like the traditional looking egg for the first time. Poor Billy Crudup. So. Man, it, I think Alien Covenant and Prometheus is best looked at if it's a legend or a myth. Because I think if you take them as gospel, they are not very good. Because these are the movies that, like, this is exactly how it happened. I don't like that. I think these movies are told, like, oh, this is kind of stories have been kind of told and retold and details have been lost or changed or depending on the person so that's kind of how i look at these two movies prometheus and as well as alien covenant since these movies predate the alien movie i think that's i think that's why i like it. these are like more like legend so uh, that's kind of how i like to view them like these are just like what is super close to what had happened but not quite 
what had happened. So that's kind of like how I look at these two movies, and which makes them actually kind of much better in the grand scheme of things. Because like, if like I said, if these are the things that actually happened, that's why people get mad. I think that's what they should have went in more with. Like, these aren't exactly what happened, but this is super close, and just. A few things got changed over the years of telling the story. So that's kind of how I view it. So with all that said, I'm going to jump into my rating scale for each of these movies. One being run the mill horror. Two, best watch with the group. Three, more than average horror, but adds nothing new to the horror genre. Four, best watch with the... Uh, moves the horror genre forward. And five being a horror classic. Now, Alien Covenant is definitely a three. Adds nothing new, doesn't take nothing away. It's more than average, but it has some good blood, has great effects, um, decent story. It just doesn't do anything to move the horror genre forward, but doesn't take the horror genre back. So, um, Get Out is definitely a four, possibly a five. It's 4.5 because it definitely helps move the horror genre forward because it proves that. Um, Horror doesn't need traditional mo- doesn't need the traditional monsters like Godzilla and the Slasher King, you know, like Michael and Jason and Freddy and whatever. Where the human beings are the true monsters, so um, it's definitely a four point five helps move the horror genre forward because it's a good story, a very uh, different kind of storytelling, and then Mother. It's definitely best watch with a group. Honestly, it's. I think you need to watch it with a group or at least at least another person, at least one person to kind of like, because I watched it by myself and I'm like, well, I wish I had someone to play the play my thoughts off of as this movie kind of goes along because I'll, this movie does offer a lot to be talked about, but it's definitely best watch with a group. So with all that said, my name is Max James coming from the basement and I'm going to go geek out.